I authorize the use of this video for the Keep Faith in America campaign. Well, hello, brothers and sisters. I'm Father Frank Pavone. I'm the National Director of Priests for Life, which is the largest Catholic ministry in the world focused on ending abortion. And I'm also president of the National Pro-Life Religious Council. On the day that the House of Representatives voted on Obamacare back in 2010, I was asked to preach at the prayer service that a number of the members of the House held in Statuary Hall there in the Capitol. It was a Sunday afternoon. And when I preached to them on that occasion, I reminded them that here in America, we have a government that has been shaped by the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, when you think about the pagan view of government, the king can get up in the morning and issue an edict into which nobody has any input and against which nobody has any appeal. The law flows from the mouth of the king. That's the pagan view of government. But when Christ Jesus came into the world and taught that we all have access to the Father through him, that we become adopted sons and daughters of God, he taught that we all matter, that the voice of the people matters, that the dignity of each individual human being matters. And that transforms politics. That transforms government. Now the king becomes our brother. Now power becomes service. Service of the very people who can govern themselves. This is a teaching, this is a principle that our founding fathers understood. They founded this nation in a way that corresponds to the Christian gospel. As a matter of fact, there is no source used more frequently by the Founding Fathers than the Bible. The very structure of the Constitution with the three separate branches of government that have uh, the, uh, an ability to balance themselves against one another comes from a biblical view of human nature. Our Founders understood this, and that's why they established a government that recognized that it does not have a veto power over human rights, but human rights are given by God. That acknowledgement of God is clear in the Declaration of Independence, and He is the source of our rights. But brothers and sisters, it's possible for a nation to forget this. And a nation forgets it when public servants forget the difference between serving the public and killing the public. And unfortunately, that's beginning to happen in America as we have unleashed a policy of abortion on demand. 60 million children have been killed since the Roe v. Wade decision in 1973. And that's because of this idea that somehow the government can declare children in the womb to be non-persons. Pope St. John Paul II, revered by Christians across the body of Christ, said that this makes a government into a tyrant state when it authorizes the killing of these children in the womb. But it doesn't have to stay that way. Brothers and sisters, this can change. This can change because when a, a, a people loses sight of the Creator, that's when the creation becomes unintelligible. But when we regain sight of the Creator, when we regain our sense of dependence on God as the only source of our rights, then indeed we can regain a reverence for all of God's creation, including the children in the womb. This indeed is the challenge of keeping faith in America, because what, what the whole abortion tragedy makes clear is that keeping our faith strong as a nation Keeping our faith strong in our political leaders as well as in the citizens they serve is not just necessary for the survival of religious faith. It's necessary for survival itself. Our national anthem ends with a question. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave? It's a question. In other words, are we still living the faith that our founding fathers had that inspired them to write the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution? Are we still standing up and saying that we cannot govern ourselves unless we are governed by God? 
And our answer, brothers and sisters, must be yes. Yes, it does wave because yes, the faith still burns in our hearts. I'm Father Frank Pavone, Director of Priests for Life. Thank you for keeping faith in America.